So variables, uh, let me change. Is, is, there, is the team okay for you or you want a white team? Let me see if I can give you a white team background. Okay. Yeah, the white team is okay, right? Yes, please. All right, so variables. Um, variables, basically, they are more or less, we will say variables are, are, like, are like pockets, okay? So imagine your own pocket. Now, uh, you can, you can, as you can see what the AI is doing, you can think of them as boxes. You can think of them as pockets that you see your own pocket. What do you put in? You can put in a handkerchief. You can put in a key holder. You can put in a bunch of keys. You can put in some coins and you can change them. Are you getting it? You can put them in, remove them, put them in, remove them. What is happening? The data that's the, the, the data or whatever that you are placing in the pocket is varying. Is what? It's varying. You are varied. And in mathematics, okay, in maths, we we think of variables as this, right? You can think of them as the X, Y, Z. Like, uh, for example, um, let's see, uh, F of X. So those of you doing algebra, you, you guys are doing algebra this semester, right? Hello? Yes, sir. Yeah, please, I will, might need some feedback. Yeah, we calculus. Yeah, so you might be doing... Um, F of X, yes, F of X. So F of X, like this, and you are told to find what X, and X could be probably any value. You see, it? and as you find X, um, you probably might see that X could be, it could be two, or let's say if I said, if I said, let's say two X plus three, equal to five, what would X be? One. One, right, good. Now, in this case here, the value of X could be anything. Are you realizing that? It could be anything. It could be three, it could be four, it could be hundred, it could be thousand. So, this is the concept of variables. The variable, meaning the value, sorry. So I'm making the notes whilst we are teaching. So meaning the value is varying or can be varied or changing depending on X. Please, do we all understand it? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, so in JavaScript, we have three ways currently. We have three ways of declaring variables, three ways of declaring variables. And the first one is the use of var, which we can say var. So you use a keyword called var. And then you give your variable a name. So it could be X, it could be anything. But the variable cannot start with a number. Am I making sense to you? So it could be uh, A, it could be B, it could be a name, it could be the name itself. So I can say variable and I can say name. And then I have an assign a value to the name. So the value could be, let's say, Johnson. All right. And you delimit it with what? A semicolon. These days in JavaScript, you can omit the semicolon and everything will run okay. Okay, so this is our first declaration. Declaring a variable using the old method, var. Okay, so var and then name and then Johnson. Am I, I'm, 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 are, we, are we good? Then we could have two declaring using what? Another keyword known as what? Let. We can say let maybe, and then we can say age equal to maybe 32. All right. 
let and it's similar to the var but it's a more improved version of the var okay if for example you use let and you bring in name here okay and over here there is also let you see that it will complain there are squiggly lines here i get in it but if there yeah. is i was using the var and i come here and i'm using the var you realize that it doesn't throw an error so the let function the let um sorry the let keyword rather gives us a more improved version of declaring variables in in what in in javascript okay so if yeah. you look at it it is a keyword a name all right and the value a keyword a name and a value and that is a declaration of what of a variable and here the keywords are var we've looked at var we've looked at what let then there is also what three which is sorry there is a third one which is const const is a short form for what constant so let const sorry 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 sorry, sorry. so in here we do const and then i can say const is um let's say location then i can sign location to maybe um johannesburg all right now so const location johannesburg now if i come down here what makes this const very different is that if i say const again and i say location and then i say maybe wale wale right you would realize that immediately there is what an error the reason why we are having an error is that when you declare variables in JavaScript using the const keyword, that variable is deemed to be constant, meaning that it cannot change throughout the, the programming cycle or the cycle of the program. So when you come here and you redeclare again the same name, it will throw an error that, hey, you said this is a constant. Why are you changing it? This is what it's trying to, to, to tell us. So you can see, you can read from the error, cannot redeclare block scope variable location. Location has already been declared. You can't declare it again. We, we understand it. Yes. So this would, sorry, so this will result in an error. Okay. This will result in an error. So I'll just comment it. Now this double slash you see me doing is what we refer to as what comments. We, it it's it, it is referred to as what comments is referred to as comments all right good now are we good should i proceed any question please you should be asking questions all right you should feel free to be asking questions are we good yes we are we are good all right good let, let me proceed so now we have looked at what's, what's happening yeah so now we have looked at variables okay the next thing we are going to look at is collections collections now you see that a variable stores one single value of data all right, it could be a name, it could be a, a number, and we'll be talking about these types of data very soon. But then there are also collections. Now, and with collections, we have, we'll be looking at two major types of collections, okay? Collections basically hold data. They hold multiple values, data. And one of the basic collections in JavaScript is what? Arrays. All right, is an array. Now, just as we declare variables with var, let, and const, we can declare an array using what? Let or var or const, and we say array, maybe we say fruits. And then we have open, we, we bring in our um, assignment operator. Now this is known as what? Assignment operator. It's known as what? <laughs> assignment operator the equal sign here is known as an assignment is an operator it's actually like a function 
when you write it, you are trying to say that this must be assigned inside a particular memory. You see, when we were talking about the zeros and ones last time, this very assignment operator is what is actually a function trying to place this Johannesburg into a particular memory, a memory location. I hope you understand it. Yes, sir. So when we say let fruit, so I have my key. Yes, sir. Now I'm declaring what? Let fruits, and then what happens? We say let fruits, arrays, and then we'll bring in your square brackets. This is how we declare arrays. And we can have apple, banana, orange. We separate the various values of data using what? A comma. Now remember something. You could even add other things like 32, 34. It could be mixed. It could be mixed. We could add false, we could have true, and we'll be talking about, about these ones shortly. But to, for us to begin with, we have what? There's an array of what? An array of fruits. We could declare another array again. We could say let, or we could even say var, maybe cars. Now, what type of cars can you mention? Guys, are you with me or I'm just, I'm just having a, a single show? Yeah, you, yes, I am with you, sir. Any examples of cars? The Benz. Yeah, Honda. Okay, BMW. Okay, we could have what? Honda. Okay. We could have Toyota. You see, and we have declared another variable of uh, another array, which is a variable, but this array consists of what? Different types of cars. Okay. We could, arrays have some functions, okay? Arrays have some functions. So I'll give you another note here. Arrays have inbuilt functions and properties. Okay, and I'll be talking about functions and properties shortly. Another thing is that arrays are also what? Zero base index. Now I'm going to explain this. Meaning that in, a, in arrays, when we are counting programmatically, we count starting with what? Zero. Okay. So we say that, and now when we say zero base index, we are trying to say that the positional values, please keep this in mind, meaning that the positional values or counting, God have me some ash, counting the positional values, okay? of the element in array starts from zero, starts from zero. Now, please, this part is critical because most of the time when people are teaching arrays, they will say, oh, arrays are zero index, we start counting from zero. And sometimes it becomes very confusing. The key term is that counting the positional values, we start with what? Zero. So meaning that Apple is at position what? Zero. zero. All right. Um, BMW is at position what? Two. Two. Good. Uh, orange is at position what? Two. Two. Very good. Very good. Very good. Very good. Please, all of you should get involved. All right. Now, okay. One, one common, one common property. Okay, of array is what referred to as what the length array. The length, the length property, the length property. And we can you we can assess the length property of array in which returns a number by doing, let's say, we can say fruits dot length, just like this. And this would give us what? It will give us three because we have one, two, three fruits inside the array. You see, here we are dealing with the length, and the length deals with counting it from one. But when we are talking about positional value, we count starting from what? Zero. Please, am I making sense? Yeah. Yes, sir. Guys, do we all understand it? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Who is confused? All right. Um, are you learning anything new? 
for those that have already learned programming, are you learning anything? Yes, sir. All right. Um, my, my question is, can you go a little bit deeper in differences between let and VAR? Between what, let and VAR? All right. So let me, I wanted to go to the browser at a later time, but since you've asked the question, let's, let's move into the browser and let me use it to really explain much about this. Okay. All right, so um, in the browser, there is also a text editor in the browser. That's what I'm going to use to teach you guys now. Um, let me let me let me detach this. Sorry. Oh God. All right, so. I hope you can see my screen. Yes. Yeah. So now, so there is a text editor embedded inside a browser, and that's what I'm going to use to, um, to kind of like teach you guys. Okay. All right. So let me create a file here. And then in this file, I'm going to say, um, var okay name equal to then i'll say maybe raphael okay mm -hmm. now i could say down in the browser there is something called console.log i'll talk about these ones very soon yeah so i just run the program and then what do you see down here Please, can you all see? Yeah. Yes, sir. Yeah, so what I did was that I ran the program and you see that what? What, is seen, what do you see down here, Raphael? My name appears, right? Okay. Yes. Now watch some, if I do var name and I say that, Victor, is that, was that you who asked the question? Yes. Good, now when I say var name Victor and I run this again, what do you see now? Let me clean the, the, the and now look at it. What do you see? Victor is the one that comes up, right? Yeah. yeah. Are you seeing it? But what name was declared for us? Ralph, right? But then yeah. we are using var, and in JavaScript, using var, you are able to override the previous what? The previous de declaration. This is because JavaScript is what? It's a scripting language. Please, do you understand it? No. Um, please, um, the one with the background noise, can you mute yourself, please? The one with the background noise. OK, it's, sorry. Yes, all right. Yeah, uh-huh. If, if, you, if, you, if you don't have any background noise, please, you can unmute yourself. But if there is some background noise, please just mute yourself. All right, good. So look at this. JavaScript is a scripting language. We, we the, the program or the, the interpreter reads from the top to the bottom. Are you with me? Yes, sir. So when you declare a variable and you declare, let's say, name, Raphael, and then you have another one, you declare later in the program, you declare name, Victor. It is going to read this, read this one. And when it sees this one, it will be like, oh, you are redeclaring another one. So then let's re override what has already been written. And then it's Victor that is going to appear, which for some time made some programs quite buggy. If you write code with JavaScript, it made writing code um, programs quite difficult to really debug. Are you getting it? So now watch something. If I change this, let's, let's come down here. And then let me say, let age be equal to, let's say, 20. And then I come down again and I say, let age be equal to, sorry, age be equal to, let's say, 40. OK, now I want to bring in age. And then I want to run. You see that there is an error. It tells us that you have already declared this guy, and you can't declare this again. This is good. So that in writing your program or in writing your script, you do not accidentally redeclare and keep declaring your variables. 
This is redeclaring or declaring the variable. Am I making sense with you guys? Yes. Victor, yes. that makes really sense. Yeah. Good. Now, one thing you need to understand is that when so let me let me let me save this. I'm gonna save this and um this leopard 20. So I'll say um variables. All right. Now let me create another one. Oh, sorry. Let me create another snippet. And in this snippet, I could say var name equal to John. Or maybe I should use a female name, so Mary. Now, I could also say name, because now name already is in, has been declared. Name is already in the program. And I can later on say name equal to, let's say, maybe Kumaho like this, okay? Now, if I do my console log and I put in name and I run the program, I get what? Kumaho. Are you getting it? Meaning that I declare the variable and what? There has been what? An override. I re-change the value of the variable. And now it is this one that is what? Appearing. Now let's use let. If I say let and I say let age, be equal to 90. And then I say let it, no, then I come here and I say age equal to what? 32. And I put in age here and I run it. You see that there is no error. This one means you are declaring, you are redeclaring. That is why you see it gives you the error that it has already been what? What do you see down there? It has already been what? Declared. Declared. Edge. Good. Because you are starting with what the keyword let. You are starting with the word, the keyword let. But here, you are not redeclaring. Here, you are only assigning. So, what you are doing is that you are just changing the value of what? Of the data. And so, this one is allowed. So, when you do it, you don't get any error. If I run it, you get what? 32. Okay. Please, am I making sense? Yes, yeah, sir. Guys, do you really understand it? I, it's, you need to understand it. So if you don't understand, you should be bold to really ask, ask a question. Feel free to ask a question. Are we good? Yeah, we're good. Yes, please. Good. All right. Now, with that said, now let me, let me, let me name this one. Uh, what name do I give? Okay. So um, let's and var. Okay. All right. Okay, so with that said, the next thing is, let's go back to our notes again. And then now we look at, so what we were talking about were what was the arrays, is that not it? So I would take us back to our wonderful text editor over here. And then we are going to create another snippet and I'll call it arrays. Uh, Delphine. I hope you have been able to join and you are, last time you said you were, you are not getting stuff clear. Is it okay with you? Yes, all right, all right. Um, all the Emmanuel's in the classroom, I hope you are, you are, you are okay. And Jed, is Jed in the class? Yes, sir, please on me. All right, I hope you are all following. Okay, so now let's look at um, arrays. With arrays, we can, as I said, we declare like we are declaring a normal variable because the whole point is that you are trying to create something into memory. So you can say var and I can say fruit. But let me be honest, nowadays, because of the problem with the var, what I just showed you, many of us use let's, okay? So let or con. So I can say let's and then I can say let fruits. Okay, and I will create, let's say, what, what is your favorite fruit, Jed? This is apple. Okay, apple. Um, Victor, your favorite fruit? Hey, is Victor with us? Yeah, that mango. Mango. All right. Um, Akos, 
Is it apple pear? Your favorite fruit is. Oh, is she with us? All right, Franklin, what's your favorite fruit? By mentioning names, I'm beginning to know those who are online really, who are le learning and those who are not learning. All right, okay. The apple. Yeah, okay, apple, fine. We have guava, we have uh, pineapple. Okay, now, so when, obviously when I run, you won't see anything. You only see undefined. I'll talk about undefined shortly. But one thing you can see over here is this, that the fruit, if I say fruit, uh, let me see. Yeah, you see, when I run fruit, what do you see? You see what? Apple, mango, guava, pineapple. But you see a number here. The number here is what? The, the number of what? Fruits inside what? The array, which is what? Four. When we count them, it is what? One, two, three, four. Now, remember that I said that if we are counting the positional values, we start from where? Zero. Yeah. Yeah. So if I want to assess guava, what we do is that we use a square bracket like this. What is the position of guava? Two. Good. Two. So if I put two here and I run it, see that I get guava back. Are you seeing that? Yes. Yes. If I put, let's say, three here and I run it, what do I get back? Pineapple. Pineapple. Now, what do you think if I put four in? What am I going to see? Undefined. Good. Undefined. Who said undefined? Who said undefined? Testamola. Samuela. Samuela. Okay. Okay. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. So you get what? Undefined. All right. Good. So, yes. I mean, I take it that you have programmed with JavaScript before, right? No. Oh, okay. No, no, no. Very good. Now, we say undefined because no value has been defined in there. <laughs> So the sister, the, the interpreter would interpret that you are assigning, you are assessing a value that does not exist. But in JavaScript, undefined is a unique value. It's a value, it's a unique value, but it's a value that to us we say it is not defined. It is a value that is not defined. I get it, so that's why we get it. So what if I put one plus two? What do you think we are gonna get? No. Fine up. You see? So meaning that within this square bracket, we can do some kind of arithmetic there. Are you seeing yeah. that? Good. So I could say two minus maybe. And what are we going to see? Apple. 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 This is thinking programmatically. You are trying to think in a very programmatic way, but once you get a concept right, it's, it's, it's just like a breeze. Programming becomes very easy. So you recognize that, see, we have understood that we can count it using our normal counting flow, which is what, one, two, three, four, five. But if we want to assess the various values or various data embedded in there, we use what? The square bracket key, and we assess it using what? The positional value, very important. Positional values. Claire? Yes. All right. Yes, sir. Yes. All right. Good. 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 Now we can also declare array. We can declare another array. Maybe this time I can use the const. And then what array can we can declare an array of schools? And then we can say, okay, we have what? We have. Um, I shall say, we have what? Gimpa. We have what? UG. We have what? Um, Pentecost University. All right. 
like this. And if I want to get Pentecost University, what can I do? Someone should walk me through it. What can I do? School. Okay, schools. And then what? Three. Okay. Good. Then I run it, I get Pentecost University. Are we good? Yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Right. Yes, sir. Another way of declaring variables, of uh, declaring arrays, is by using the constructor object, which is, I can say, const, and then what array can we declare? Maybe branch. And then I can say new array, like this. And in here, what brands we have? We have Google, we have Amazon, we have what? What else we have? Alibaba. Alibaba. We have what? Apple. And now I can say brands. Run it, and you see, we get the same thing. The same thing. So there's another way of what? Of declaring what? Arrays. Using what? The new constructor object, the constructor object. This is it. So arrays. Please, is it clear to everybody? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Now. Yeah. Yes, please. It's just different between using the constructor object and like just declaring the array straight away. Actually, so what is happening behind the scenes is that when you use the square brackets, okay, behind the scenes, this is what is happening. So there is something called syntactic sugar. Syntactic sugar. It's like a shortcut in writing arrays. This is the long form of writing arrays. Behind the scenes, when you write arrays this way, the array is constructed this way. Do you get me? Oh. So you realize that this is like a short form of writing it. So if, if right now, you and I take a detour to the web, uh, sorry, let me see, to the web, the web, the web, the web, the web. Oh, wait. I want to get now. Let me open my my brief so that I think I think I can switch different browsers. Okay. Um, but please, guys, I hope you are learning something. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So let me kind of switch to brief so that you see what I'm. So when you search for syntactic sugar, you see that it is say in computer science, syntactic sugar is a syntax within a programming language that is designed to make things what easy to read or what express. Are you seeing it? So when we come here, I can and let me add that note here so that you guys can can read more about it. So we call it what syntactic what sugar. Syntactic sugar, that is my note for you over there. All right, so you see that you realize that this is quite easy to read as compared to this guy. Are you getting it? It's easy to write, it's easy to do stuff with it than this. Is it not so? Yes, I still see your browser. Can you see it? This one is easy to see compared to, it's easy to read as compared to this guy. Is it also? Yes, sir. All right. Please, it looks like someone is playing music in the background. Please, can you turn it off? All right. Good. So we 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 are we are we are good with um our our this thing our arrays for now. Now let's move to loops. Loops. Loops, loops, loops. Uh, within a short time, we are covering a lot, isn't it? We'll put them into a program very soon. So loops, but I just, I'll keep stressing on the fact 
or keep asking you guys, do you really understand what I'm doing? Or is anyone confused? Please, is anyone confused? They are trying. Um, mm -hmm. Well, I wasn't here. I, I didn't join the previous class. So that, that one, the video is being recorded, so you can get access to it. But I want like those that are currently in the class. Okay. Do you really do you really understand what is going on? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right, good. Okay, because I will need the feedback so that I know that what I'm teaching you guys are understanding, not like I'm just rushing through it. All right, so there are loops, okay? Now, what do you think a loop can be? What do you think a loop is? Not in terms of programming. Explain it from, let's say, normal life, 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 life perspective. What is a loop? It's Hello? Uh, a repetition. A repetition. Yeah. Uh -huh. A repetition, right? A combination. Like a circle, it doesn't end. Yeah, it doesn't end. It's a repetition. So I'll go with the word repetition. Repetition. All right. I'm going to show you something funny about a loop. All right, so let me just switch quickly and then show you a loop. Now look at this guy. This is a perfect understanding of what a loop is. <laughs> <laughs> Are you seeing it? Yes. Does it end? It doesn't end, right? No. Yeah, it could have, maybe yes. I could pause it and then that means I've ended it. But once yes. I put it into motion, it is yeah, what that it is it. looping, and one yeah. one key thing is that if you look at um, this one, for example, I don't know this this should this is not a video. Um, hold on. Um, there are this, for example, this meme you are looking at. This a perfect loop. You can see that the police keep raiding the house in the merry-go-round. I seen that. Yes, that is a loop. Now, in JavaScript 2, or in, in, in some programming language, in fact, almost all programming languages, yes, there are loops. And the commonest kind of loop we have is, so the loop, we have for loop, a for loop, all right? Now, let's look at a for loop. For, and now, we, for, it means that we are going to go over a particular set of what data in a particular looping function. Now, loops have conditions, okay? Loops have conditions to start and to stop, okay? And to continue. This is like the, the bare bones of a loop. So every loop, Every loop would have a start, would have an end, a condition to end, and it will have a portion of it that causes it to continue. All right, this is something about loops. Now, let's look at it. For loop, it starts with a keyword. So in JavaScript, there are keywords. Right now, you've learned about three keywords, let, const, and what, var. Ah. Good. So, we could have another keyword called for. And then when you hit, so it's for like this. And then inside the for, you open a bracket. So there is what the, the um, how do we call it? The rounded brackets, okay? So we have for, and then you initiate with what? A variable. That is the starting variable or the starting point. So I say for X, and this is a variable, we've learned while we declare variables. So I'll declare a variable. And I'll say that let X start from, so let's start our looping from zero. Are we good? Yes. And yes. then I'll delimit it with a semicolon. Then I'll say, then where is the condition for this loop to begin to continue and to stop? 
And I'm going to say that the loop should continue until it reaches what? The number 12. Are you with me? Yes. Now you see that I've used a new symbol, which is what? The angle bracket. The angle bracket over here is saying that while X is less than 12, and now we know that X at this point is what? Zero, is it not? Yeah. So while yeah, no, no. it's less than 12, then we also have what x plus plus i'm going to explain all these things to you what i'm going to do is that we'll say console dot log and then i'll say x okay so we say now let me run it and i walk you through the explanation all right when i click on it you see that we have what sure. that what yes hello you said you were going to explain the I, I can't hear you. Yes, yes, I've not gotten there. That's why I've not I've not touched it. So so just relax. I'll explain that. that. But in this case, currently, what you can take from it is that the console does not allows us to, to write things inside the console. Do you see here? You see that they've written a the console here, right? Hello. Yes. Yes. This console. Hi. This console is what we are writing over here. So console, and it has a property called dot log. So we are logging the information down here. Are you getting it? Good. And we'll get deeper into it shortly. We'll get deeper into it shortly. Hopefully, we get there. So remember, we have four. Let x equal to zero. So you see, and we are saying that. X, so long as X is less than 12, continue adding one to X. This is what the X plus plus means. It means that keep adding one, one, one. So if X is zero and we add one to it, what would, would we get? One. We we'll get, get one. one. So we get one here. Now we go back again. Now X now is one. X is less than 12. Is it less than 12? Yes, sir. Good. So if one is less than 12, then that means this condition, is it true or false? Is it true or false? Oh, I wish I'm getting some good feedback from you guys. It's right. true. Yes, it's true. So if it is yes, true, please. if it is true, then what happens? Keep adding x one plus one to the x and then will come to what, two. So it's two less than 12. Yes, sir. Good, okay. then do it again, go through the loop again. It's three less than 12. Yes, sir. So we yeah. continue till we get to 10. It's 10 less than 12. Yes, sir. Good, now it's 11 less than 12. Yes, sir. But then now, yeah, X is 11 less than 12. We now add another one to X again. What do we get? We get what, 12, right? Yes, so X is equal to 12. Is 12 less than 12? No. Good, so once this condition fails, we stop the loop. So once the condition, so once the condition fails, we stop, or the loop stops, the loop stops. Please, do we understand it? Yes, please. Yes, please. Yes. 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 Victor, does it make sense? Yes, sir. Very good. Now, so I could have done, let's say, 1,000. And when, when do you think it would end? At what point would it end? 999. Very good. Let's look at it. Boom. We have 999. Are you seeing it there? Are you seeing that? Yeah. Good. Yeah. Now, yes. assuming that, um, let's say, you see, where are we starting? We are starting from what? Two. The one. We are starting at zero, right? Now, I could change this and I can start from what? Nine, 998. How many times would the loop run? Once. 
Let's look at it. So, Iran what? Because it's Iran twice. The first one is 998. X is less than 1,000. It's true. Okay. The second one, 999. X is less than 1,000. Then we still get it. I see. So I'm trying to let you see how flexible it is, that you can even change where you are beginning. This is the starting. This is your starting value. This is the condition that must evaluate to true for. So let me keep it again. The condition must evaluate to true for the loop to run. Claire? Yes. We good? Yes. Okay. Now, yes. let's apply two concepts. We've learned arrays, haven't we? Yeah. Okay. So, um, this one, I'm going to name it. Let me name it. Um, this was what? This is um, arrays. Oh, okay, I couldn't. So, um, arrays and new arrays. I'm calling it out. And then this one, we are now going to combine the arrays and the loops. So, let's say we have Let's declare a variable. Victor, walk me through. We want to declare um, a variable of set of, um, I want to get an array of names, an array of five names. How do we go about it? Const and then new okay. um, name. Oh, let's go one step at a time. So const, what? What name would you name. give your, your, your variable? Uh, First names. Okay, that's very good. Now you see that Victor gave us first names. Now in 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 um programming in JavaScript especially when the names are two like first names, you can separate it and write this. This will be an error. So we do what we call camel case. Say camel case. Camel case. Okay. Camel case. Now, camel case is like this, or some people call it. So, this is camel case. So, you see that the small letter, then we capitalize the next um, wedded, wedded letter over there. And then we can now say equal to. So, Victor, let's go. So you open your um, bracket, your square what bracket. What kind of bracket? Square bracket. Very good. Then? A quote. Okay. And then we put some names like um, Sarah. Okay. All right. Dennis. All right. James. Pardon? James. James. All right. Raphael. Raphael, yeah. Kukwa. Uh, okay, Kukwa. Yeah. All right. Now, so now we have our list of what? First names, right? Okay. We just learned about the for loop. I will be coming back again, but we, we just learned this for loop. I hope we all understand what the for loop is. Now, I want us to look through the list of first names that Victor has given us. Victor, um, or who would like to also try? Victor, would you like to continue? Oh, yeah. If, yeah. All right, let's go. So, hold on, please. All right. But as I'm holding on, I'll initiate. Yes, the question. Yeah. So, we want to look through the list of what names you have given us. So, we we'll have what? Four. Right, mm -hmm. and then what next? We declare an 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 internal variable. Mm -hmm. Then so we let's. have let's, all right. And I can say let's name. Okay, okay so. or, and it could be anything. It could be x. It could be y. It could be whatever. But so I could say maybe let's say i, which you normally see in a lot of people's programming language, uh, programming codes. So. Let i be equal to what? 
Zero. Zero. Then I delimit it. I end the statement or the expression in this case. Yeah, this is more of an expression. And then what comes next? Now, um, pay attention. First name, bracket, I. No, 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 no. What will come first will be I less than, because we are going to cycle through the name, starting from zero. Are you guys? Less than five. Yes, sir. We'll say less than five, right? Is that not it? Yes, please. Good. And then we'll end that statement. And then we would say I what? Plus, plus. plus. Then we open it and then we can say console. We are writing it onto the console. And then what would we write? First. We write what? I. I. But then when we write I, what do you think we are going to see? What, what are we going to see? A number. Number or names? Number. Number. Yeah. Um, who says names and who says number? Those that say his name, raise your hand in the chat. And those that say number, raise your hand in the chat. Okay, so um, I had a lady's voice saying, um, is that Samuela? Yes, sir. All right. Now, let's see if Samuela is right. Let's run it. You see that we are getting only numbers, Samuela. Samuela yes, sir. Why do you think we are getting numbers and not the names? Uh, because of the position, the length. Remember something. Um, Victor, why do you think we are getting the 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 numbers and not the names? Um, because for our for loop, we, we only um we are dealing with numbers. The i variable is a number, and we are saying that it should count till it gets to five. Yeah, but the key Logic. thing is that we are not assessing the values in the array. You see that when we are assessing values, what do we do? We call the name of the array and we use what? The square exactly. bracket to assess what? The positional values. Is that not the case? Yes. yes. Samuel, do you understand it? Yes. Sir. Good. So when you come here, you realize that it's just the number itself, but we are not assessing the values in the array. So to assess it, we need to rather write first names, right? Mm -hmm. And then we bring in our square bracket. And what would we put in there? I, because I, I is a number. Is that not the case? Yes. Yeah. yeah. If you come back here, you realize that th this was what a number. You remember we're even doing um, class two and all that. This is a number. Okay. And we know that I here is also what? A number. So I can just put I in here. But remember that I would continue to be changing. Is that not the case? Yes. In the first instance, I is zero. The second loop, I will be what? One. One. Good. The third loop, I will be what? Two. The fourth loop, I will be what? Three. Exactly. So once you run it, what do you see? You see the list of names appearing. Yes, sir. We've done our first program. Great. Uh -huh. But I... Uh, you see, when you go online and you are, maybe you, are, you have an app and you are looking at um, maybe a list of countries or a list of places, this is, this is the program behind it. Basically, this is all that is behind it. And once you get this concept right, I bet you there is nothing you can do with your programming skills. Am I making sense to you guys? Yes. 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 Has there been some understanding? I mean, even with some of the programming concepts you've been yes. learning. Yes. Things, things are clearer. Yes. yes. Okay. 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 Now, let's try and play with our mind a little bit. Let's yeah. say we want to start. We want to start um, from James. 
we don't want Sarah, we don't want Dennis, but we just want James, Raphael, and what, and Kukwa. How would we go about it? The I equals one. I equals what? Two. Two. Somewhere like yes, you are actually getting that thing. You are getting it. That's good. So look at it. We start from that's very good. So James, Raphael, and Kukwa. But Victor, let's look at something right now. Assuming that I add Pamela and I add Joshua and I run. Let me let me run the whole thing again. Let me start with the zero again and run it. How come that Pamela and Joshua are not showing? Because, because in the code we said it should be I should be less than five. Good. Yeah. It should be less than five. So yes, does it mean that each time our data <laughs> is we need to come and update it? Yes. yes. Are you seeing it? But you realize that that is going to be very <laughs> tedious, isn't it? Yes. yes. Good. That is why, remember, I told you something. That now let's come back to our text editor here. I told you that the arrays, they have a property called what? Length. Are mm. you seeing that? And the length mm -hmm. is as what the number of items within that array. Do you get it? Yes, sir. Please, do you not get it? Yes, sir. Good. So, in that case, instead of we using five, we can rather write first names dot what dot length, which in itself is a number, but it's a number of what items in the list. Mm -hmm. Does it make sense? Yes, sir. So now, yes, when sir. I when I run it, I get every, everything. If I delete, let's say I have to cook, or even if I delete it, and then okay. I run it, you see, I don't need to go in and be changing. Change. Now, this code is very, very, very modular. It is, it is, it is reusable. It's a reusable code. You can copy it and run it anywhere. And that's why I can even change whatever is in here and replace it with, let's say, Honda, um, maybe 30, 22, and then I will run and it will still run. I wouldn't need to fidget with the loop anymore. Am I making sense? Yes, sir. You've gotten it? Yes, sir. Yes. Should we play with our mind yes, again? Sir. Yes, please. Let's try. Yes, right. please, let's play with our mind again. Yes, let's play with our mind again. <laughs> now, what if I want us to start, you see, when you run it, you start running from more Sarah, Dennis, mm -hmm. James, and Raphael, right? It goes in this order because yes, an array sir. is an ordered collection. An array is what? An ordered collection <laughs> of items. Okay. So we are starting with Sarah to Raphael. But what if we want to start from Raphael? We want to move from backwards to the front. What would we do? Now let's think through it. What would we do? Don't be Googling it. Think through it. <laughs> and yes. I, I equals three. I equals three. Okay. Then let's run it and see. The, the uh -huh. I plus plus with I, I minus minus. I yes. minus minus. Okay. Yes, please. Very good. Let's see. Now let's run it. Clever you see, we are not done. You see that it is in an infinite loop. Can you see that? Uh -huh. Yes, sir. And in doing that, my machine can crash. Hey. Yes, because it's in the, the memory heap. Mm -hmm. and, uh, I, need to, I need to cut it. I need to cut it off. Yeah. And then now we have a problem. This is what happens. You can see that you, you saw that the numbers were running up. Yeah, uh, it's still running. Damn, 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 damn. Let me, let me change this to plus plus and run it again. Oh, it's not going to do it. I have to close my browser. You've, you are, you are, you've caused my browser to, 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 to crash. <laughs> yes. Sorry. Yes. It's crashing. And, yeah, and this is what happens, actually. Your loop can cause your browser to crash if you do not really understand it well. But it was a very good attempt, right? It was really, really a good attempt. Yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> I'm closing it. It's not even closing. <laughs> let, me, let me force close it over here. 
But guys, I hope you are you are you are you are enjoying the class and you are really getting things across. All right. Yes. yes. All right. yes. Let's see now. Boom, 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 boom. Let me let me try and. Okay. Uh, I'm trying to close my browser, but was that Samuela that caused this? Yes. <laughs> yes. Hello. Yo. It wasn't you, eh? Yes, it wasn't me. It wasn't you. You are the one. Oh. I'm trying to shut this. <laughs> My whole uh -huh. is, 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 is just. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. It happens. So oh, don't worry. It happens. I think it's, it's, it's a way we learn. Uh, wait. Let me try and shut everything down. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Good. Good, 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 good. So now let me reopen it. Okay. And then let's look at it here. So with this, we we go to our nice amazing text editor here. Can you see? Can you see? Yeah, yes, please. All right. Yeah. Now, so the loop was here. And then what we did was that we rather what? We changed this to minus minus. Okay. And now remember that. See. Oh, you can't see. see. Sorry. Yeah. yeah. It's better now, right? Yes, yes, please. Yes. Good. So we say let i equal to three, right? And i is less than first names dot length. And we said we want to move from backwards to the front. So uh -huh. obviously we had to change minus minus, right? But then yes. we said then we need to start from the, this very index. So what we would rather do is that we can say first names, right? Dot what? Dot length, which gives us what? The, the length of what? Of the, oh. the array. Is that not it? Yes, sir. Yes, but the length of the array is what? Okay. It's four. four. Good. But then the position, the maximum position of the array we can get is what? Three. Perfect. Three. Guys, give thumbs up to yourself. You are understanding it. So in that case, we can do minus one. So four minus one gives us what? Three. Good. Three. Okay. Now. We can't say i is less than first name dot length because now we are moving this way, or oh? because yes, now sir. we are yeah. saying that what we are saying is that this is three, so we can say that this while three. Oh, so let's wait, 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 wait. Let me, let me, let me, let's think through it. Let's really think through this. So first name dot length minus one. Okay. Uh huh. Now we have i, which is i less than, and what is i? i is three, so it's three less than four. If it is true, and let me, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, no, minus. Okay, so i. Um, so. Yep, yep. Please, I don't know <laughs> if this can work, but. Yeah. How about making it i is equal to three? And then I will be less than or equal to first names. Then I minus minus. So I'm cutting it out. So let's look at it. I three. Let's work manually. And then what? You said I is what? Less I what? is less than or equal to first names dot length. Is equal to first name, which is four. Then what? And then I minus minus. <laughs> I think that was what we did earlier. No, we just did mine. Um, I is less than. Did you bring yeah, we didn't yeah. bring less than equal to. Oh, yeah. They're less than equal to. Yes, sir. Let's see. 
If if I am caught in an infinite loop, you guys are paying. I knew I know we are going to hit <laughs> an infinite loop, right? That's what we have now. Good. Yeah, you, you've seen the infinite loop. Did you see it? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So it's not like that. We need to, what, what happens is that you need to really reflect through it. That's why I say, let's play with our minds. So it's important you really think through it well. But then yeah. we are having fun and we are having fun. Yeah. Yes. Let me, let me, let me, let me shut my, my machine up now again and then restart it. Yeah. Casual, yeah. Casualty of war. That is my, <laughs> my, my, my brothers are having casualties. Since you guys are just disturbing them. Oh. Yes. So I'm back oh, again. Yeah, but it looks like we are learning something strange, right? You see that there's logic. So we say we are coming from backwards to what? To front. Mm -hmm. Which we know that if we are coming from backwards to front, then we know, okay, this guy is at point three, right? Mm -hmm. Then you let's remove this guy. Now we can say while three is greater than while this. So we could even say four, right? While four is greater than three, right? Let's run it and see. Now I'm going to run it and then we'll look at it. We get undefined two times, right? Um, so I is what four and I. So long as I is greater than, so, um, sorry, good, let's do this. You see, watch. Now, I'm using zero because we are saying that this is four, right? Now, these are not the right values to use. We are, I'm trying for us to build on the understanding step by step. So I'm using a maximum value of what? Four. Are you with me? Yes. Hello? Did I lose you guys? Ah, and no. then no, please. And then we say that since this is four, we are saying that so long as four is greater than what? Than yeah. zero, zero. Continue subtracting one from four. Are you getting it? So that means yes. 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 greater and equal to zero. So you, let's go with this. Let's not confuse ourselves too much. We would get there. I want us to build and understand for everybody, all of us, so that we all understand it. So now we have I is greater than zero. So four greater than zero. Is it true or false? True. Yeah. true. Yeah. We look over here. First name that is having four, what would we get? Perfect. Undefined. Undefined, perfect. If we're in a class, I'll have told them to clap for you. So undefined, are you getting it? So now mm. we are done. We come back again. Now we are, we've subtracted one from it. What is left? It's what, three now? Is that not it? Yes, it is. So it's yes. three greater than zero. Yes. yes. Now, what is the positional value of first name three? What value do we get? No, no. Janet. No, 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 no. Rafael, you see it? Oh. Then we will subtract it again. Now we have what? I is what? Mm. No, it's two. two. Please, please follow, follow. I is two now. Now it's, uh, it's two greater than zero. Yes. 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 Good. Now let's, so what is positional value two? James. Yes. Yes. Very good. Now we subtract one from two. What would we get? One. 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 Now it's one greater than zero. Yes. yes. Good. What is positional value one for first name? Yes. Good. Now subtract it again, and then what do we get? Zero. zero. Now, is zero greater than zero? No. 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 Good. So then that means it will have to stop. Are you getting it? And so you see that yes. our, first, our first value is going to be undefined, isn't it? Yes. Yes. And when you run it, what do you see? Undefined. This one, don't don't worry about it. I'll talk to you about it later on. But this one, you see that we begin from zero because the positional value is what four. And uh -huh. over here, there is no positional value which is four. Oh, yeah. You understand it? 
Yes. yes. The reason why I did this is for you to be able to understand what would happen before you even run the code. Once you're able to get this concept right, you realize that when you are writing code, you make less mistakes. It's like inside your head, the interpreter is there. The, the, the inter, inter, uh, interpreter yeah. is there, the compiler is there. You know that, oh, if, if I'm writing this, this is what is going to happen. You realize that when you guys were doing it, I was telling you, it's going to be an infinite loop. You remember? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. This is as a result of the fact that there is understanding the code I'm writing. I get in it. So now, yes. now that we have four, for us to remove this undefined. There. Hello. Mm -hmm. All right. I can start Hi. by writing the first name. Someone has some noise at the background. It's not helping. Dot length. And then I'll say minus one, which will give us what? What would it give us? Three. Three. Very good. Because we don't need to start from four. So now mm. if I clean this and I run this, you see that now the undefined does not appear. Are you seeing it? But then, yes, yes. But then Sarah is also not coming. Are you getting that? But can you go back what you just did, please? Yeah, so what I did was this. At first it was four. And if it is four and we run it, this is what we get, right? Okay. There is undefined here, which is not what we want. Okay, so we want to remove this guy and replace it with this. First name dot length minus one, which gives us what? Three. Are you are you confident about your answer? It gives us what? Three. Three. It gives us three. Programming. Have have a question. Yeah, let, let's let's let this settle in and then you ask your question. I want everyone to tell me that they understand what I've just written here. Do you understand yes, it, please? Sir. Do you all understand? Yes, sir. It? Yes, yes, sir. All right. Yeah. Now please your question. Uh, please, why is this um three and not two? Why is what three and not two? When you subtract the first names dot length minus one. When I subtract first. I'm, I'm not really getting you. Can you please? When you subtract, uh, yes, please. Um, first names dot length. I was thinking the answer is supposed to be two. No, because remember that. What is the length of the array here? Let me answer. Four. 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 <laughs> four. Right. Yeah. Right now, everyone wants to answer. That's good. So <laughs> four. Right. So four minus yeah. one will give you what? Three. Yeah. So was that a question you're asking the question? Yeah, yes, please. Yeah, so Agosia, look at it. Look at these ones and um, the values we have here. What is the maximum positional value? Three. Are, are you Agosia? Are you Agosia? <laughs> what is the maximum positional value? Three. Three, right? So for us to yeah. start from here, I could have just placed three here, right? Mm -hmm. And if I place three there and I, I run it, I'm going to get them. Is it not so? Yes. yes, but now you are a programmer and programmers, we think in the future, what if now I add, let's say, um, what, give me a name, let me add your own name, okay. yeah. right? Now, yeah. you see that if I run it again, you mm -hmm. see, I'm still running from what, from Raphael, right? Uh -huh. Because yeah. it's still beginning at what? Three is not beginning and ending. Uh, okay. Very good. So for us to make our, our code reusable and modular and not always okay. changing the, the code itself, we uh -huh. will use what? First okay. name okay. dot what? Length. length. And then because the length gives us the full number of items, we'll subtract it by, by our what? One. Very good. So now, if I run, we start from where, Akosia? Are you seeing it? Yes, sir. Please, does it make sense? Yes. Yeah. Please, the whole class. You. If you understand, please give me thumbs up in the class. If you understand, give me thumbs up in your- Oh, in your... I don't know how to do it. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. If you understand what I'm doing right now, just give me thumbs up. Yeah, I've gotten eight. Yeah, that's great, that's great, that's great. That means all of us understand it. 
Now, but then there is a problem, isn't it? We, we've still not solved the problem entirely. If there's still a problem, is it not? Mm -hmm. Yeah, because now we can't see Sarah. Can we see Sarah? We can't see Sarah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because it goes up to what? One. Because once we say we reach one, we say that one is greater than zero. So you need to stop. But Sarah too is at position what? Zero. Very good. So what can yeah. we do? What can we do? So what is making minus equal to zero? Pardon? Minus I greater than or equal to zero. So we can add equal to less than or greater than or equal to zero here, right? Okay. And yes. then we can run it and then we get Sarah. Hooray. Okay. Oh. <laughs> now, what other way to can we solve this over here? What other way can we also solve this without bringing in the equal sign? What other way can we solve it? What yeah. if I is greater than minus one? Perfect. Who said that? Samuela. Very good, very good, very good. So you see that when we run it to, we get the same thing. So you see that there are different ways of solving the problem. Uh, yes. I have a question. So why do we why do I still see the why, why do you see what? No, this undefined you are seeing here. Why is this still undefined? No, no, no. This undefined is that there is a symbol here, right? Yeah. This symbol, we call it side effect. It's a side effect of the browser itself. Because oh, okay. you're not returning. So in JavaScript, if you are not returning anything, it gives you undefined. And we'll talk about functions shortly. So this undefined, you see, that's why there is some symbol here. There is a side effect. Are you with me? Uh -huh. yes, sir. But then we have been able to solve the problem and all of us do understand it, don't we? So right now, yes, I can yes, keep coming in, adding Samuela. I can add more names, Delphine. Ah, <laughs> uh -huh. What other name can I add? Kennedy. Chief. Chief. Edmond. <laughs> Uh, so can I, sorry. Can I, yeah, what else? Add more. Add more. And then Clifford. when I run it, what else? Clifford, Clifford. Clifford. Yeah. <laughs> two, two, two. <laughs> when I run it, when I run it right now, you see, we are starting from where? Clifford. Clifford. And we are going the other way around. Claire? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It's really, really clear, right? Good. Now, yes. now, let's move to the next section. You want more? Let's move to the next section. <laughs> All right. So we are moving to my notes again over here. There is one thing I we will come back to the while loop, but I don't want to stress you now. So let's go to conditions. Then we'll come back to the while loop. So conditions. We've already seen a bit of conditions. Okay. Uh, so conditions. Conditions. So now let me save this file and then um boom, 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 boom. Yeah. I bet you guys didn't know that there was a text, there was a text editor embedded in 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 in, 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 in in Chrome browser, right? No, we didn't. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, I bet you didn't. Please wait a second. Hello? Hello? Yeah. So this is your famous in-house browser, uh, in-house. Yeah, that's what may apply to the method, but it means something else. But what are these? All right, so let's look at it. Um, I want to name it. This will be what our first program, right? So, program of names. All right, so now let's look at the next thing. 
The next thing is what? Um, conditions. Okay. Now, in programming, logic is about conditions. Logic is based on conditions. What if? So when we talk about conditions, like what if? Like uh, a lady would say that based on your attitude, I would like us to date. You see, that's so then that means there is a condition. The condition is that your attitude is good, so we can date. Based on the way you talk to me, I would like us to become friends. There is a condition. So in JavaScript, too, there is a clause, a condition starting with the keyword if. Inside the if, this is where the condition will be. All right. Now, you are not going to write it this way. I'm just writing it in a way for you to understand. And then you open it, your curly bracket. And so long as, so long as, so I'm going to give you a note. So, so long as the condition is true, so long as the condition is true, the code in the block. Must run. Keep this in mind. This, these are, these, I, I'm giving you the jewels of programming <laughs> so that you don't worry your head too much. So long as this condition is true, so long as it is true, whatever is inside this block would run. So we can say that if I can even just write true, just like this, and I'll be talking about the different data types shortly. So if true, console.log, now Delphine, you know that the console.log help us to write things in the console. Okay. Yes. Yeah, so console.log, Delphine understands. <laughs> All right. Now, because it is true, once I run it, you see that Delphine understands the console is there. Can you all see that? Yes, sir. Now, if I change this guy to false, all right, and I run, nothing would show because the statement, the condition is what is false. As I told you that so long as the condition is what true, it will run. But if it is false, then it's not going to run. Does it make sense? Yes, yes sir. Yes, so, sir. Yes, sir. If it is true, then it must run. There is also the alternative. Say the alternative. There is the alternative. We can say that else, and then we open. So if it is true, run it. Else, do something else. Okay, so let me rather make this guy false. And then I'll say console.log. Samuela is a top programmer. All right. Yes. Now, if I run it, Samuela is a top programmer. Because this one is false, the L statement is the alternative clause. So the alternative clause would run. Please, do we understand it? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes. Yes. Good. Now, so whatever condition you place in here must evaluate to some truthiness. So whatever condition you put in the brackets must evaluate to some truthiness. Okay, uh, if you don't, if you think it's not a word, it's in programming. In programming, we learn a lot of words. If I put <laughs> truthiness in here, see, truthiness, uh -huh, that is it. It says what? The quality of seeming or being felt to be true, or even if it is not necessarily true. So now that is a very important thing to understand. Please guys, understand this, this very term well. Truthiness, like, it, it might appear, even if it appears to be true, it means that it has some quality of truth, truth in it. Am I making sense? 
Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. So now, what can be true? It's not only the false and true that we look out for. Let me comment it. We can have, let's say, now let's write a, a simple program. Let age be equal to, um, let's say, I'm sure someone is 23 now. Now, assuming that you are building an application and then you don't want someone who is 23, you should be 24 and above to be able to view. Or so let's say this is like Facebook. Facebook should be 13 to be able to join Facebook. Now, I would say that if age is less than 12, it's less than 13, sorry, my age is, so we are looking at if age is less than 13, console.log, you are not allowed to register. Else, Console the log. Hey, you are welcome to the platform. Yeah, so that it's not to cause the rush. Are you with me? Yes. Are you with me? Yes. Please. Now, when I run it, what do you think is going to come? You are not allowed. You are not allowed to register because it is going to compare these two. Are you seeing it? And then see that this condition, yes. is it true or false? If it is false, now what is age? Age is what? 12. Is 12 wow. less than 13? Yes. Yes. Hey, is 12 less than 13? True. Yes. Right? Yes. True. Yes. yes. So then you are not allowed to register. But if I'm to change this to 43, and hey, you are welcome to the platform. Does it make sense? Yes. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes. Do you understand it? Yes. 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 Good. Let's do it. Let's look at another thing. I'm, 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 I'm commenting it. Let's look at another thing. Hi, let's see. Hello. I can say let's. Okay. Equal to John. And then I would say that if name console.log. Now I'm going to teach you something called concatenation and interpolation. There are two words I'm giving you again: concatenation and interpolation. But before that, let me look at just the concatenation. I could write this. Please, can I get can I get those with a background noise? To mute? Yeah, please, please just mute it. If you are having a background noise, just mute yours quietly. Are we okay? All right. So you see that here I write what? His name is, and then I'll bring in what? Plus sign. And then I'll say name. This plus sign, that we know it to be addition, right? In yeah. JavaScript can also be used to add, not the, the normal operation of add, but to, let's say, to join two strings, two strings together, which is what we refer to as what the concatenation. Yes. So what we are doing is concatenation. You see that I've intentionally left a space here. Now we say that if name, then let's run. So when I run it, you see that it says that his name is John. Now what is happening is that it is evaluating that there is a value here. If there is no value here, it would, it would evaluate to false. So remember that we, we talked about what? Truthiness. Truthiness. Right now, through the values, so through the values, no, let me rather say non through the values, non through the values are look at it, they are false, empty strings, null, undefined, 
okay? Zero. These are all what? Truth or non truthy values. Anything apart from these guys are truthy values. So over here, this string is a truthy value. But if I remove it and then I run it, you see that it gives me, so watch, if I run it, I get what? Undefined. Because this is what? Is false. Because there is nothing in here. But even if I put one here, it's still going to run. If I change this and I make it 90, it will run. But if I make it zero, are you seeing it? Please do okay. we understand it. Any no, I, I yes, please a question. Ask a question. Can you can you go over it again? Starting from the let name. Wow. Are you with us? Were you with us or you 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 yeah, I was okay. And please, those with the background noise, once again, please just mute yourself. If you know, it's, 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 um, it's a good deed for your friends who are also learning. So if you know the background noise. Okay. So please watch something. We declared a variable, right? Um, Victor, was that you? No, that's no, me, Carrie. Carrie, good. So we declare a variable called, let's say, carriage. Okay. Now, if I declare a variable called carriage, now because this value, JavaScript would see that it is a value. It has some element of truthiness. And okay. remember, I showed you the, the definition of truthiness, right? Yeah. It means that this condition is true. Are you getting it? And if yeah. this condition is true, then what is in the body must what? It must run. Okay. Does it make sense? Sure, yes. it does. Good. So when we run this, you see that we get his name is Courage. And this process, what I just did over here is what we refer to as what? Concatenation. Concatenation. Okay. That is joining two strings or two variables together. Okay, okay. So yeah, I get it. If I come here, I'm sorry, if I come here and then I search for concatenation, you see that it says a series of what? Interconnected what? Things. Yeah. So it's similar. If I click on a string, you see that we can connect two strings together. Am I making sense with you? Yeah. Please, you, do you understand it? Uh, I yeah, I get it. So yeah, what do you mean by the term a group of things linked together or carrying together? Please, class, do we all understand it? Yes. 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 I guess programming has become quite easy now, right? Yes. yes. Yeah. So so yeah. Yes, sir. Yeah, that's good. That's good. That's the whole point. Yeah, I think if I change more classes, I let go back. Yeah, so let's look at it here. All right. Um, that's it. Good. So this is concatenation, and this is what we had, right? We could even have added, let's say, let age be equal to, let's say, so we don't need a string. We would rather give it a number, let's say 34. And I can say plus, plus, and then put some space in here, right? And then over here, I'll add age. Jimmy B. Are you with me? Yeah. And then when I run it, you see that his name is Courage. Oh, okay. Let me add. And he is. So I've just constructed a nice sentence in here. And he's 34. Let me add another plus. And then yeah. Oh. And then once I run it, do you see it? His name is Courage. And he's 34 year old. You see, we have we've we've made it very dynamic. We've added a, a variable, two variables. We've mixed it with a string as well, and that is what we refer to as what? What did I say the name is? Concatenation. 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 Now, if I remove this guy, 
this is what an empty string is what an empty string and remember uh -huh. i told you that non truthy values include what empty strings uh -huh. let me bring it down here again non oops, 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 sorry so non truthy values include what empty string so this is an empty string meaning that it is a falsy value non truthy values are also called falsy values all right, let's check whether that word exists. Yeah, so falsy, falsy, falsy values, all right? So falsy, if you look at the word falsy, see it's what? Parts of, so they are talking about, yeah, I think that is it. You see parts of materials used to increase the apparent size of the breast. So that's um, fake, the fake uh, parts that they use. So you see false eyelashes. Are you seeing it? Yes, sir. And when you go to the Mozilla docs, they will tell you that a falsy is a value that is considered when encountered in a Boolean context. It's written falsy, falsy. Yeah. Guys, I believe you are learning. Yeah, we are. Yeah, and I, I hope no one is overwhelmed. No, we are okay. Yeah, that is fine. Okay. Good. So, um, I have a question. Yes, please ask. So, let's say you have a variable, right? Um, it is zero. Does it also uh, exactly? Become... You can see it here. I've listed them here. Can you see them? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, if I put zero here, zero two is a falsy value. So, you, you get nothing. You see, you get nothing. If I put um, undefined, here and I run it, you get nothing. If I Sir, please how about pardon? Please how about error? Error. What? Error. No, error, error is not a value. Error is not a value. Not error is not a value. But well, let's try it. You see that you get an error. <laughs> so error. error is not a value. Here we are talking about values. Values. Okay. And See, take it. I'm making your work so easy. This is all that it is. <laughs> all right. This is all that it is. I think probably the last one might be this, but even this one, I doubt. You see, this one, I doubt. So this is all that there is. This is all. Take it from me. Don't sweat it. Don't worry your brain about it. The, all the 40 values in the entire JavaScript world are these guys. Any other thing is not a falsy value. Any other thing is a truthy value. Please, does it make sense? Yes. Do you understand? Yeah, I don't know whether you really do understand. So yeah, very good. That one, yes, yes. an empty array. Let me do an empty array, yeah. Let's look at it. Boom. You see, as I told you, anything other than what I've given you is a falsy value. It's, it's a truthy value. So all these guys are all what for. If I said I wanted to write the truthy values, I can't finish. That's why I rather went with what the falsy values. Please, does it make sense? Yes, sir. We really okay. understand it. Like these are concepts that if you understand, even for now, what you understand now is like you understand quite a lot about JavaScript. Writing programming in it will not be that difficult. Writing some programs in it wouldn't be difficult. I hope I've made some sense to you guys and you all understand. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Question, any further questions? Please ask questions, So I like it when you're asking questions. So ask a lot of questions. Ask questions. Okay. Now, there is another thing too called interpolation. Can I, should I proceed? Yes, yes sir. sir. Okay, there's another thing to call interpolation. It's just like the same concatenation, but it's better. It is better. So instead of writing these things, and you see this one, there's possibility you can even miss, miss a plus, right? If you are writing. Rather, I could write console.log. And then instead of using this, I'll use what we call backticks. The backticks. The backticks is the first thing. The first key you see by one, the, the first key on your keyboard, the, the, the key, the key, um, the key you see before, yeah, before one, that before is the one. Yeah. And I can write his name is 
And where the variable is, I'll use what? Dollar curly bracket like this name. And he is another variable, dollar. dollar. Yeah. Are you getting it? And this one is what I'm talking about as what well. interpolation. Inter we are interpolating these gangsters, <laughs> these variables, right? And when you run it, oops, oh sorry. So it's false. So let me let me put um Sandra and then run it. What do you see? You see that is the same thing, right? But you see, this one is quite elegant compared to this one, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so now we know of if I could have even else, I could have else if, and then I can come in here and I say name, okay? Right, and I can say if name, is equal to, so you can have a double equal to, and I say it's equal to George, right? Then I would say console.log, hey, no, so I'm gonna use my back text, which I, I prefer, so, hey, George. And now, what is gonna run? Tell me, who can tell me what's gonna run? So I want to use the dollar curly bracket. Why do you think I, I should not, I, I would not use it in what I've written? Look at the code I've written right now. What wrong will be the first two console log? Pardon? The first two console log in there. What has happened? I said. Yep. Hello. You asked what will run, right? Yes. Yes. Yeah. And I'm saying the first two Ooh, console dot awesome. is what will run. Very good. Now I, I had someone ask that why didn't I use the the um the dollar sign? And I was asking that who can explain why it is not in there in the second if if statement. Because there is no variable I'm using in here. Do you see? I'm just writing the right, the normal strings. Are you seeing that? So now, if we run this, Sandra, name is equal to Sandra. So this one is going to run. This guy won't run. Is that not the case? Yes, sir. But then, yes, sir. what if I change it to George? What is going to run? Tell me. Hey, George. You said? Hey, George. Hey, George, are you sure? Let's run it. Yeah. yeah. Runs. You see that it is not the Hey, George, that ran, but it is what? Because yeah. this is the first, once it finds the first, yeah. Yeah, you can see the other one. Once, so once it finds the first, the first truth, truthful value, it runs and then the rest will stop. Are you getting it? Please, do you understand it? Yes, sir. Yes, once it runs the first yes, one, sir. it will run and then the rest one will stop. So, so long as this one is true, we don't need to run this guy again. Is it clear to everybody? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right, yeah. Okay, so... um. A is equal to let's say C. And then we run it. Now you see that we get what hey George, because the name is equal to and then this is equal to 12. Are we good? Are we good? Yes. yes sir. Yeah. So I would um I think I'll add the last thing I'll teach you and then we'll wrap it up because it's enough for one day. All right. Yes, sir. Okay. So the next thing I'm going to teach you guys is functions. And that one, we will not go too deep into it. We would go just on the surface. So functions, functions. And functions are the hearts of JavaScript. 
functions. Now to write a function, functions are more or less like reusable, composable units of code that run, that can be run. So we write a function like this. Function, you start with a keyword function, and then you give the function a name. Now the name can be anything you want, but remember, I should like the way that variables are, it shouldn't be a number. So it gets name, and then I put in name here. Oh, sorry, sorry. Let me not put it in here. And then I, I put in, this is a function. This is a function. This is a function. And then inside the function, you can return a value. I can return anything I want. So I can return maybe hello, all right? Now over here, I can write, so now that I've written my function, the next thing I need to do for us, to, if I run this, you won't see anything. But for us to be able to get this function working, you need to call it. You need to evoke, call, or what? Run. So you need to evoke, call, or uh, there's there another name I forgot it. To run, so call the name, the name of the function with parentheses to run it. So how do we go about it? I will do get name and then you put brackets open, bracket close. And once I run it, now you see that I get what? Hello. Do you see that? Yes. Please do you all see yeah. that? So yes. I could, I could okay. even say, maybe let me declare a variable here. Let's a be equal to 34. Let B be equal to 689. And then I can say return A plus B. And what am I going to get? 123. Are you seeing that? Yes, sir. I hope it's making sense to you guys anyway. Yes. I could say, well, instead of this, I can change it and make it division. And this is what I get. Yeah. We good? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Good. Now, with that said, let's flesh out this function. Functions to also have, so I say it gets name. So in this case, I could say, I can have let name be equal to Porsche. And then I can return name. Now watch something. You see that when I run it, now you see that when I run get name, it doesn't give us any undefined. Do you see that? Yes. Yeah. When it gives us the name. The side effect is gone because we are returning a value. So we get what? Porsche. Now, what if, so if I call this things, let's say three times, you see, I get how many, I get two Porsches. <laughs> The system, so you see, as I run, I'm getting the same Porsche. I get in it. But mm -hmm. then what if I want to be able to give this code to someone who can call it and change the name Porsche without coming inside the code itself to change? This is where this is what leads us to the concept of parameters. Parameters. The function can take a parameter. And so inside here, I'm going to redefine it here again. So inside here, it can take a parameter of say name. And then I'll remove this guy. Now, since it takes a, a, a name parameter, if I run it, you see that it says undefined because I've not passed in the name in here is like a local variable. Okay, so it says that you have not, de you, you've declared, but you've not given anything in there. Are you getting it? 
Yeah. So I will have to pass in here Uriel. Run it and what do I get? So someone too can come and then run another one and call it maybe Shemayel. And then when I run, you see Shemayel too is there. So now this function is what? Modular. It can be used anywhere. And all that the user would need to do is to do is to pass a name into it. Now, as I said, I won't go into deep into functions. Um, what we will do is that I will break here. Um, okay. God willing, God willing, this Saturday, there is going to I'm organizing a free programming class. Um, uh, and so I'm sure you just keep in touch. You might probably get to know the details. It's open. It's free. And I think awesome. that we might be starting on Thursday. Um, Thursday might be in the afternoon, around like one day. And then on, 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 on Saturday, it will be in the morning to evening time. It will be a whole day session. So you can come and then you can learn more about it. Will it be online? No, 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 no. It'll be it will be um physical. physical. So that one you can you can come in there and learn more about it. But I believe that for now, this is programming concept, it's part of the curriculum I had to do. Um you've you've learned some stuff. All right. Yes, love learned quite a lot within a short period of time. And my whole point and my whole focus is that you should be able to learn a lot in a short time, understand a lot in a short time and not sweat programming. That's the whole thing. You shouldn't sweat it. It should be very easy to really understand what is being taught, okay? And so if you have any questions, you can send it to me via email, WhatsApp me or something. Or you can also join the class Godwin on Thursday. And um, so Delphine, um, you know your other colleague, okay. the Delphine I introduced you to, the other Delphine. Yes, please. Yeah, I think you, you guys exchange numbers, right? Yes, sir. So contact her because she's the one who is um, kind of like uh, in charge. So just contact her to keep you updated on the, the class timelines and stuff so that you can communicate it to your co other colleagues, those that will be inter interested to join. And when you so about, up, yeah. yeah, about the test day class, yeah. Uh, can we have an online session for the ones that would, might not be able to show up? Uh, it will be dependent on, on, on the guys on the Delphine groups, those who are organizing it, because um, you need to tell them to maybe have a video camera over there or something so that they can be streaming it for you guys. All right. Uh -huh. okay. So you can have discussions with them. They can be streaming it live whilst I mean, it goes on. So those who cannot join can be able to partake in it, okay? But yeah, okay, sure. it, it's important you really understand programming. Don't be scared about it. The reason yeah, sure. why sometimes you are unable to get it is because the understanding is not there. And so mm -hmm. you begin to mess around and then you give up. But it's not so complicated at all. It's, it's a really, really, and I'm sure with this, you've seen that it, things are clicking, right? Yeah. yeah, things are clicking. Yeah, so I'll leave you guys to it. Um, and as I told you, um, the the let me let me go back to the. Hmm, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Uh, I want to show you the so. Um, yeah, all I want you guys to do. For me, for me, I ask nothing than when you create your GitHub account, just follow me and you get more updates on and some a lot of free stuff that I'll be sharing over there. So you can go to my GitHub profile. Yeah. You get GitHub profile for you. Yeah, this one. This is my GitHub profile. Yo, this is the one. If you have it, I have two GitHub. So there's the one you should, you should, you should go to. If you get there, um, you can actually. I'm, I'm sharing the link on the chat form. So um, anyone, all I'll need you to do for me is to just follow up and you can download most of, so this, this like this is a, a course I did. 
Um, you can. Oops, I'm looking at. Let's see. Yeah, so this one was also a workshop I did. Um, we have there are notes in there that you can actually also look at. Okay. Yeah, there you go. It was a workshop we did early this year, January, thereabout. It was a workshop. So if you want to learn more about it, you can actually do so. All right, we can do so. Um, we had the one, the two, and it starts from HTML all the way down to CSS and JavaScript and stuff like that, okay? But um, if you want to learn more about the JavaScript programming language, um, this guy, JS Primer, the one I started it, it has everything, all the notes, all the things I taught you today start from zero. So lesson zero talks about a lot about the, the, the syntax, okay? The various syntax that you can have access to. Um, you go to lesson one, you can also see the variables we we're talking about. There are notes I've just made for you. So you can just go there and learn a lot from, from it. Um, you can go to, it goes all the way to building projects, okay? And the build things. And I, I, I bet you, if you are able to go through them, have chit chat with me about it. You learn a lot in a short period of time. Okay. So that, that is the content outline. All right. So, and there are some projects I've done for you guys like Quizapp, Tax, ta, um, Taskify, um, plugins like this is rock, paper, scissors, those kind of basic apps. But whilst you go in there, please don't forget to start them. All right. Don't forget to start. The, the 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 project and to follow me. So with that said, and these guys, some of them are some of your colleagues here in Game Park. So I wish you all the best. Any question? Say, say. Yeah. Tell me, I have a question. It's about the for loops. About the for loops, okay. Yes, sir. say. How do you break through a for loop prematurely? Yeah, you can break through it using an if statement. Okay. Yeah. Using an if statement, you can just break it. So you can so just initiate, um, let's say over here, I could say that if X is equal to maybe let's say nine, so let's start from 90s, 996. Nine, 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 if X is, okay, you can see here. All right, so if X is 997, nine, nine, all right? Okay. I can say break. Okay. And here, I'll run it. And you see that it's only 996 that shows because once it sees 997, it sees that break. this is true. So it will break and then it will go out of it. But if okay. I see that continue, what is going to happen is that it will skip it. You see that it skips the 997. Yes, once sir. It skips it. So there's no 997 in there. And you can use this to really manipulate even the arrays that may be, oh, I'm going through a list of names, but if you see this very name, skip this name, okay? For example, over here, I could say that, okay, there is a for loop that is saying, let's say, let X be equal to probably zero and X is less than schools.length, all right? And I could say that X plus plus, right? Are, yes, sir. Are we together? Yes, sir. Then I can say that if, if schools x is equal to, let's say, ug, I would say that continue just like this. And then beneath here, I'll say console.log schools. X, like this. So if I run, you see it, I share a game for Pentecost University, but what has happened? UG has been skipped. Yes, sir. Are you seeing this? How proof this is how we build applications basically. I get in it. If yes, I sir. rather written break, then what would happen is that we would jump out of it. 
will just jump. It will just start looping. Asha has a game power. Once he sees Yuji, it will stop. Please, do we understand it? Yes, sir. Yes. Do we all do we all really um get get the concepts? Yes. Sir. Yeah. All right. All right. All right. All right. So you join me this week. Chat with Delphine. The, that's um Delphine in the other group. Chat with her. Get get to know the details and join, and then let's learn more. All right. Yeah. Okay. But okay. I, I will entreat all of you to create GitHub pages, please. All of you should create GitHub pages. All right. Even if you have nothing there, just create it. You create it and come and follow me. Once you start, you start coming for the class, you will start updating your profile in, Ocean, in a short time. OK. All right. So uh, thank you so much. Thank you so much. And thank you. there is nothing to be added. I would end the class now. Let me say last question. Yes. Last question. Say, so what's the difference between a and a wow loop? Yeah. So I said that um, it's even in my notes. I just probably so all of them are loops, but yes. why loop? Why loop is tricky. There is a tendency for you to hit into an infinite loop if you are dealing with a while loop. So okay. you always have to be very careful when you are dealing with while loop. There are a lot of different types of loops. Okay. So you have to be very careful when. You are dealing with that. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Chef is also. All right. Are we good? Yes, sir. I guess yes, sir. this is really going to help you in your programming class, I guess. Sure. All right. All right. All right. So I wish you all the best. Then. I will connect back again. Okay. Bye-bye. Thank you, sir. Bye. Bye. Bye.